Dragon Ball Sparking Zero just did the unthinkable. They recently announced that GT characters will be coming to the base game. That's why today in this video, I'm going to try and educate myself on this series. We've only got until it actually releases. So in the meantime, I'm putting together a tournament to find out which GT character is actually going to be the best. These characters will battle their way through this bracket in first to one matches until the finals, which are first to two. Then after winning that, I'm going to do another tournament and then whoever wins the second tournament will go up against whoever won the first in a first to three. So every character is getting their chance here. Nah, who made this bracket, bro? The AI really took the best and worst seating and said, let's see Pan in that first match. Hey, Pan, this this isn't my fault. I thought you guys were going to be DLC. Don't blame me for this. Of course, thanks to the rules of the world tournament, even Pan still stands a chance to reign supreme as GT's greatest character being added into Sparking Zero. I'll play with you a little bit. Oh, this so, is bad. You wanna fight? No, Pan, get out of there, dude. I'm trying not to show favoritism, but look at the health bars. I don't have to do it if the game's going to do it themselves. We are seeing this fight from Gogeta's perspective, although there is no bias. Ultimate Impact's going to do a ton of damage. Not sure where this is going to leave Pan in terms of that out-of-bounds perspective. It looks like she's going right into the concrete. Still alive, still has a chance. Has more key, but Reliable Friend is going to miss. Gogeta goes for game. Doesn't quite find it. Oh, oh. oh. Unreal! He missed ultimate impact and rung himself out! A surprising result, but Gogeta has removed himself from the running! Oh, I can read the comments now. People are not happy with that one. Oh, people are gonna be pissed. People are gonna be pissed, but what can I say? I I'm not gonna rig the results. Pan one fair and square, dude. What can I say? Up next is Baby Vegeta, and while I will be starting him in base against Pan, I think it's only fair since he's fighting Majub in this bracket to bump him up to the level where he was actually fighting Majub. Man, that GT trailer was so sick, though. I'm gonna be honest. All right, look. Did I think they were gonna be DLC? Yes, but the trailer, it, I'm happy they're here, dude. Now, again, while I don't control any of this, I'm going to be upfront with my bias. Majub is one of my favorite characters in all of Dragon Ball. There's just something about Ooh, bro. He is so I cool. I won't give up until I defeat you. Exactly. I just enjoy this. That's the student of Goku right there. Baby Vegeta doesn't even know what's coming. Oh, I thought he was going to ring himself out. Great start for Majub here. Launches a super energy wave volley. Hard to dodge. Oh, that punch could have sent him right to the wall. Great vanish as well. Can't seem to find the combo, though. Baby Vegeta starts with an amazing string. Final Flash comes out, and it's going to hit Maju right where it hurts. One bar of damage. He's just getting absolutely destroyed. Baby Vegeta almost takes himself out. Manages to dodge a super energy wave volley that almost surely would have sent him into the wall. Both competitors finding some time to just charge up key now. Maju launching something into the stands. Want to make sure everybody's afraid. Gets hit close to the ground. Returns fire. These guys love this technique. D-Blast both connect midair. Reflects come out for Majub. The health advantage still on the side of Super Baby, though he has to find a way to finish the job. With that ring out rule, anything can happen. Tries to go for a grab, gets shot in the face. In front of all the contestants, Majub has successfully even out the score. Baby comes in with a great combo, tries to get a vanish mix, doesn't let Majub get a grab on him. Vanish punch followed by a defensive vanish for Majub. Another great vanish. This is a fight right here. Much better than the first, a spike from Baby, but it's not going to do the job. Grab comes out, but tech from Majin Buu. Retaliation grab. The grabs are just not able to land. Both competitors are seeing it too fast. Great combo. This could be the end, and it is. A devastating combo from Super Baby launches Majub into the stands. Disappointing result for the Majub fans, but you can't lie and say Baby didn't earn that. He played a, the better game. Up next is Omega Shenron versus Goku GT. Now, while I really I really wish that I could say that I was gonna bump Goku up to Super Saiyan 4. I don't know, would you guys rather see Super Saiyan 4 or Goku GT? I guess we should do Super Saiyan 4, right? That's what makes sense. Yeah, let's enter Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Gogeta already lost the tournament, right? So it's not like we're splitting hairs here. Well, uh, do you think you can really win? Shenron's talking a lot of trash, but I wouldn't be confident if I were him. That's Super Saiyan 4 Goku right there. And he starts things off with a meteor crash. Gigantic Blaze is going to come out, but Goku just turns him around instantaneously. It's hard to fight back against that. Goku can't seem to find the time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nice deflect on the move from Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Times 10 coming out, but it's blinked. No damage comes out from that. 
Great combo. Has Omega Shenron on the edge. Gets a grab. That could be the end. Stops himself just before getting rung out, though. Amazing. Omega Shenron hasn't been able to land one blow on him. Actually, that's a lot. He has. But, I mean, come on now. Super Saiyan 4 Goku is clearly in the lead in this fight. Steps back to the wall. Gigantic Blaze. It's a risky strategy. But it actually does manage to go off. Can't find the follow-up grab. Super Saiyan 4 Goku with a devastating sidestep. Another grab. Could this be the end? And it is. Amazing technical win from Goku. Finding the grab just when Omega Shenron needed to dodge it the most. Up next, a bit of a non-canon matchup for Sparking Zero because Super 17, famously not in the game. <laughs> or at least he wasn't in the trailer. Still a very exciting match though. I want to see which of these two characters is going to make it through. Three bars starting for Vegeta. Amazingly, full bars starting for Super 17. And he spends it on a Flash Bomber. Of course, the trade-off is he can't charge it up. Oh, Vegeta is playing it very fast and loose with this wall right now. Needs to take some space aggressively, but is just stuck on defense. This could finish the... Vegeta, what are you doing? Not taking this first tournament very seriously at all. This tournament is brought to you by viewers like you. Every like you give is one cent that is given to the tournament fund. So please like. It's free. It lets us pay the contestants winnings. <clears throat> We're not going to pay them. After an absolutely pitiful performance from Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, that has brought us out of the preliminaries for the first round of this GT tournament. I didn't expect to see Pan up here. We are going to get to see the base form. Whoa, that was a wild voice line. Another different form of baby, but I still feel like it's fair. It is Pan after all. I'm surprised she made it past Gogeta. The seeding clearly got it wrong. Clearly Pan is the best in the game. He weighed volley from Pan here. Both competitors over the grass now. Finger Blitz Barrage. Hard to dodge a move like that, especially when you're wearing denim shorts. Kamehameha to the face. Needs to find a follow-up, though. Pan's going to win again. We need to see another ring out. Finger Blitz Barrage brings Pan all the way down to yellow health. Already looking bad to try to win on health here. We're going to need to see something else. Key wave push away. That's good. Keep the distance. You need to launch that beam way quicker. Baby's too evil. Saiyan Soul comes out. Going to give Pan a bit of that armor advantage. And she weaves the spike. Amazing defensive recognition there. Able to pull away from what would have been a devastating hit. But she just can't find the dodge for Finger Blitz Barrage. She needs to do something fast. If you bet money on Pan right now, she needs to win the game right now. Baby takes it over the concrete. Afraid to lose the game anyway through health. He finds an opening though. Finger Blitz Barrage, this could be the end. And it is a very fitting ending to what was essentially just a match of Pan losing her health to that move and that move alone. And now we move on to the second semifinal match with Omega Shenron versus Super 17. A fantastic start where we see both competitors launch a key move. Omega Shenron running out of key already, though. Struggling against the infinite energy of Super 17, but almost put the game away right there. If not for that vantage, Super 17 surely would have been rung out. Omega Shenron playing a risky game, but he launches him right into the wall. This could be the end. A devastating finish. I know a lot of people that just lost a lot of Zenny right now as Super 17 falls almost instantaneously. And now we finally made it to the finals of the first tournament run. The loser will still get a buy in the next tournament run, and the winner will be disqualified from the next tournament. And the winner will have a guaranteed spot for the championship round. But we have to find out which is going to be which here as Super Baby 2 takes on Omega Shenron. A fantastic match for you all today in the stands as two of the great bads from GT, maybe two of the best bads, have found their way into the ring. Oh, here we go. I wonder if it'll be as quick as Super 17. Again, starting off with Gigantic Blaze, and it does find its target. Bring him right to his feet to start a combo? Is this what I'm looking for in these kind of matches? Omega Shenron does find a way back into the ring. Tries to find something, but is not going to find it. Maybe with an amazing combo, but oh, can't let that grab hit. Omega Shenron has a great grab for this environment. Full power energy blast finds its mark. A full blue health bar still remaining for Omega Shenron, and he loses it. It's great. Green to green with Super Baby taking the slight edge. Finds Omega Shenron's back. That's going to give him some extra damage on this combo. And Omega Shenron just too lazy to turn around? No, he was waiting for the blink. 
a missed opportunity for Super Baby. Both competitors blink. This fight just got taken up a level in speed. Can you guys still keep up with this? I know I can't. He waves. I like that. I like that it's over the concrete. Let's keep it a fair game. 430 seconds left on the clock. Needs to find a way to stop that gigantic blaze, but just sits there in fear. Still hasn't found the counter to that move. If Super Baby doesn't do something fast, this health lead is getting out of hand. It might not even come down to health. Round one is going to result in a ring out. If Omega Shenron can clutch up one more time, he's going to find himself an easy ticket to the championship round. Match two, Omega Shenron can secure his ticket right now with a win. Baby can still have a fighting chance. A weave comes out. He's too fast. The power differential between these characters might just be too much to make up for. Able to block a lot of the key blast, but needs to find a way to defeat this monster. Can Super Baby actually make it? Decent combo, but the fact he was over the concrete prevents anything from happening. <sighs> Close, but not going to be the end of his run just yet. An amazing counter. Oh, definitely don't want Omega Shenron too close to you right now. Gigantic Blade is going to take most of his key, but again, Baby's AI is just going to sit there. He can't find a way to counter it. He doesn't even know where the block button is. Omega Shenron taking Baby's back. Oh, no. This grab is devastating. It's too much. Omega Shenron has secured a one-way ticket to the victory line, to the championship match, and secured himself as one of the top two GT characters coming to Sparking Zero. All right, we have our second bracket made. Now, important to note, ignore the fact that Gogeta got the buy. He definitely did not earn that. That will instead be Baby Vegeta getting that placement. So we're just going to switch those two characters out. That still doesn't change the fact that our round one is Maju versus Super 17. First of many elimination matches happening today. Let's go down to our contestants to get a quick word. I'd gladly risk my life to stop you, you again. Are you really in such a hurry to die? Both competitors making mention of the last tournament run here, and Oob seems like he has a chip on his shoulder. Can't find the charge kick. Gets kicked in the mouth, actually. That was disrespectful. Doesn't take much damage. Chocolate Beam does land. How are you going to win this match as a little chocolate man? Oh, my gosh. Can't quite run away. His little legs wouldn't allow him to do that. Hellstorm, this move is crazy, and it's going to land every single shot on Maju, who needs to get out from over the grass. I was getting scared. Oh, what a devastating grab. I could barely bring myself to watch. But Super 17's put himself in a risky position with Maju's attack landing. He's right next to the wall. This could be anybody's game. Doesn't launch him down until he gets over the concrete. Must not have wanted the win enough. Hellstorm finds its target. Maju riddled with bullets. Needs to find a way to get a grab off. It's teched. Underground from 17. It's brutal. Oh my gosh. Please, somebody help him. That's my character. Deflects every key blast just to fire back his own. Has Super 17 in a great position. A grab just like his Goku taught him. And he finds the ring out from behind. I might even be able to beat Goku. He's done it. He calls out Goku directly. And he's earned his spot to get a rematch against Super Baby. Super 17, much like the actual sparking zero lore has been eliminated from existence and now we're back with the underdog fight of the century will pan i'm in a bad mood right now oh pan's in a bad mood from the last match could this mean that she's gonna lock in and secure another underdog victory wow what a whoa, what a combo and a fully charged beam and she just gets punched that's bad that is really unfortunate not over the grass just yet, though. Dodges the charge punch and is able to land a devastating grab. Doesn't really do much to advance the ring out agenda, but a follow-up combo might just be what she needs. Vegeta well over the grass now. Back to the wall. Pan, full key. Is able to stop the grab before it happens, only to get hit with another rush attack. If she doesn't turn this around, her low health just... I mean, off the fact that she starts with low health... Close to the wall, a beam taken out, another half of her health. Already well into yellow. The only way out is a ring out. That's the only option now. If you've got Zenny on pan, I know you're cl you're clenching your fist now. Saiyan Soul might just be what you want to see, though. To turn it around. She blinks the final shine attack. Trying to bait Vegeta over the grass. Fully charged beam. Doesn't find its target into a finish sign. Vegeta's looking to finish the job now. This is not good. I wish I could say that it looked better than this. A fully launched combat beyond though. Almost into yellow. Vegeta needs to end this quick. And he's not going to do it with spirit breaking cannon. Oh, and the... Oh! Pan went for the finishing blow. Decent combo. Can she find the step up? Finds the tech. Finds another tech. Vegeta just is just looking to finish this through health though. 
Saiyan Soul can't finish. Fully charged Kamehameha off target. Vegeta almost at full key. Is going even further beyond. No, he's decided against it. Key Blast Battle. Very heavy Key Blast Battle. Reliable friend. Oh my goodness. Breaking nearly every rule of the tournament. Giru has entered the ring. And he's brought a missile. Oh my gosh. Ugh, that must have broken at least six rules. You cannot do six of those things that she just did. But we're allowing it because it's Pan and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Pan just tried to go for a beam clash, and now she's a dust cloud on the, the ground. Prince of Saiyans. Let's not feel ourselves too much, Vegeta. That that's that's a little disrespectful, honestly. Well, we've made it to the real creme de la creme match. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta versus Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Again, I feel like Gogeta has to be the favorite, right? Like, oh! Oh, I thought we were about to see a close-up beam clash. Oh my goodness, I could hardly control myself there. That was about to be the moment of the tournament. Times 10 Kamehameha, can't find its target. Gogeta daring to ring himself out again. Oh, baits him into reflected key blast just to land ultimate impact. Long time contestant viewers will remember that that's the move he rung himself out with. Definitely got a. I tense up every time I see it. What a blink. He's moving too quick. Finds Goku's back. Lands a grab. That grab is very good in this format. We've seen it win two matches alone. Oh, Goku returns the favor. A key blast volley from up close, followed by a weave. Oh, that might be it. Doesn't quite finish the job, and Goku's able to dodge it and retaliate with one of his own. Wild Sense comes out from Gogeta to make sure he's not getting hit. Fully charged kick might be the end. Who hit it first, though? We need a ref. It was Goku. It was Goku. He lost to the Ultimate Fusion, the better version of himself, as you might say. Gogeta finally moves on. It's time for the run back of the tournament. It's Maju versus Super Baby. Super Baby coming off a bye, might be a little rusty. Immediately hit by Maju. He had a great performance against Omega Shenron in the last bracket, but we haven't gotten to see his performance quite yet. Maju, on the other hand, is very warm. This could be game. Oh, it had to be by an inch. Our official ref doesn't call it. Majub launches the amazing grab and shoots Baby out of the air. Baby just couldn't get started at all. Majub, with an amazing performance, takes himself into the finals of this match. My goodness, somebody extremely talented at fighting games must have made this bracket because we've got another repeat Super Saiyan 4 versus Gogeta. Will he still prove to be the most powerful incarnation of these characters? We're going to find out now. You know when I say incarnation, it's got to be a good this match. A good warm up. Oh, he's okay then. I'll play with you a little bit. He's calling this a warm up. Vegeta, after his win on Pan, is acting like he is destined to win this tournament. And if it's true, I, I want to see it. But as of right now, I would put my Zenny on Gogeta. Great follow-up. Gogeta's actually going to take a huge combo. Oh, Vegeta with an amazing grab almost sends him into the wall. I actually care. Oh, that was disgusting. Oh, never mind, Vegeta. You're him. You're actually him for that. That was embarrassing. Nah, if I was Gogeta, I would. I, low key, if I'm being realistic, I might cry. I might. I might have to act like I'm passed out so that nobody can see my tears after that. That was embarrassing. And so we've come to the second finals. The winner of this will go on to face Omega Shenron in a best of five setting. A real best of five to see who's actually better. This match, of course, is a best of three. Maju, Vegeta GT, I want to see a clean fight. Let's get in there. Here we go. Round one of the best of three. These two competitors have both had an amazing second run after coming off of what maybe most would say not a great first tournament performance. Omega Shenron, I think, is going to prove to be difficult for either of them, but... There's, I mean, it's just a tournament. Oh, no, it's over. <laughs> Imp it. This grab is broken. Vegeta might actually have the greatest tools to win. Majub's gonna have to look out for that grab if he's gonna beat Vegeta here. He needs to find a way to avoid that. Step back, super energy wave volley. We've seen that move maybe three trillion times in this tournament alone. He's too fast for him. Launches another super energy wave. Needs to be a bit closer if we're going to make the most of that. That Key Blast found its way back to Vegeta himself. Final Shine attack. Lands. Launching Oob close to the wall. This could be Oob's last round if he's not careful. He needs to work the grab. He needs to find a way out. Vegeta vanishes from his combo and gets closer to a wall. Oob senses a chance for victory. Launches another energy wave. Doesn't knock him down. Final Shine attack. Can we see a dodge? No. Horrible decision making from Oob. Vegeta's on the prowl and he gets a devastating ring out. Majum again has been eliminated from contention and we're heading to the true finals.
Place your predictions down below in the comment section because we are going into the best of five finals right now. Both competitors have proven themselves as champions for this new GT edition. It could go either way. I would say Omega Shenron's our overall better contestant, but Vegeta has that devastating grab, so it's, it's anybody's game. And we have fought for a long time. It's evening now as we come across the finale. Still some Hercule fans in the stands as we pan around. <laughs> You think you can really win? Oh. I'm more than enough to finish you by myself. Here we go. Ready. Our contestants are both ready, and they'll start with a key wave blast. Final shine attack finds its target. Omega Shenron goes down. A oh, great counter. And a devastating launch. Gigantic Blaze might be too far out to counter it. Takes too much damage. Vegeta already into green as Omega Shenron stands alone with quadruple five million blue health bars. A ring out, but who actually touched it first? Oh, it was Vegeta. Our ref has called Vegeta out and takes a round one loss. Two more like that for Omega Shenron, and it might be over. We'll have to see what happens. Another final shine attack comes out. Strong start for Vegeta, but he needs to take that space. Make the most of it while he has it. Gigantic Blaze, is he close enough? No, he's not. Fails to launch a counter attack to stop it. Omega Shenron finds time to charge up. Within the chaos, he finds a bit of peace, and he also finds Vegeta's back. Oh, almost on the edge of the tournament. He's almost over the ring. If Vegeta can just get him to back up a little bit more, which he does, but he just launches back so quick. Even in health bars now, almost. Actually, wait, Omega Shenron might still have one more bar, and it doesn't matter if Vegeta keeps tanking these attacks. Couple of key waves. We have some silence here as a grab comes out. Is it a guaranteed Oko? Vegeta stops himself. Oh, and a rush attack clash. The winner of this might win it all. Launches go Omega Shenron the wrong way, though. Can't find the wall. Doesn't have much key left, but Vegeta thinks his best chance is to just stay on the attack. Hard to disagree. Omega Shenron falls back. Might touch the wall, but manages to stay away. A great string of attacks for Vegeta as he almost evens up the game health-wise. Gigantic Blaze always finds its mark, though. Has never once missed an opponent when it goes off. Both competitors charging up. The Key Blasts are just too tempting for Vegeta. Gigantic Blaze. He'll have to hit it fast. He does. His final shine attack followed by finish shine. Vegeta is buffed up and looking to end this now. Counters from behind. Gets full key. Final shine attack, if it can hit, it does. It brings Omega Shenron down to half the health bar. A combo might end it. Omega Shenron brings Vegeta to his red bar, and I think he just got a ring out. <laughs> no, Vegeta gets taken back again by the ring out rule after a clutch performance fails to find the victory. If Vegeta doesn't win now, good has fallen, and Omega Shenron will rule over the earth with an iron hand in sparking zero parentheses. Spirit breaking cannon is vanished. Gigantic Blaze is sent out and hits. Oh, if you're a Vegeta fan now, you've got to be hoping. Another rush class. Vegeta seems to have the win here, and he does. He's just too addicted to firing Key Blast. I understand it's Vegeta's technique, but maybe get another one, man. Omega Shenron, a dominant performance with a devastating grab. He could have had it right now. He does it. This tournament could go to a 3-0 sweep for Omega Shenron. Text the grab. Vegeta's able to dodge this one. A charge combo. That could have been it, but Omega Shenron brilliantly vanishes it. We're going to need a miracle here today as they, both contestants are so high up over it that Vegeta's grab is kind of out of the picture! It's all over! Omega Shenron has won the tournament with a 3-0 sweep, proving himself to be the best character added into Sparking Zero, all of the new GT trailer. Amazing performance. What a great tournament. If these results surprised you, well, I mean, I guess we'll see your reaction in the comments. Leave a like, check out some of the other videos on your screen right now, and let me know if you want to see some more tournaments run in the future. Thanks again for watching. I've been your host, and I'll see you in the next one.